Episode 9 Episode 9 kicks off with some unexpected praise for the bad guy, AUZA. Despite their evil ways and their deadly ninja squad, they've actually done some impressive work in the energy field, says Emma. After some small talk, Emma reveals her plan. She and Higgin are going to sneak into active power plants to shut them down, all while stealing some portable energy supplies to keep their Kamui armor juiced up. On top of that, Emma gives Mike and Jason full access to her computers in case they need to hack into Oza again. On the other front, we see the CEO losing his cool with Yamatsi, blaming his ninja crew for botching the job and failing to take out Higgin. He warns Yamatsi that if these brainless ninjas mess up again, they'll have to commit seppuku, a form of ritual suicide. Yamatsi fires back, calling the CEO an imbecile who can't tell the difference between a ninja and a samurai. Later on, the CEO tries to reach out to his assassin, Big D, but he's in the middle of a haircut and misses the call. The CEO then does something unusual. He checks on Big D's gear, which is a first for him. Elsewhere, Emma schools Higgin on how to handle his Gasuko gear, a.k.a. Kamui armor, explaining that if he uses it right, he'll be unstoppable, but one wrong move could turn it into a coffin. Higgin wants Emma to sit this one out, but she's not having it and says she's in this fight, too. Later on, Emma and Jason get down to business, trying to hack into AUZA's satellites. They manage to break through the first firewall, but their victory is short-lived when Big D shows up, guns blazing. Higgin jumps into the fray to give Emma and Jason a shot at hacking the database. Mike and Emma join the melee, taking on their human enemies. Big D puts up a fierce fight, but Higgin manages to take him down by driving his sword straight into Big D's chest. Big D accepts his fate, ready to face death, but then his suit starts to blow up because the CEO activated the self-destruct sequence. Big D shields Higgin from the blast, saving him, but Emma is seriously injured in the explosion. In Emma's final moments, her entire life flashes before her eyes, from her friendship with Mari to late-night karaoke with Mike. Unfortunately, despite everyone's efforts, Emma tragically dies. The episode wraps up with Higgin, Jason, and Mike giving their fallen comrade a fitting funeral, honoring her memory and the sacrifices she made. The episode review Ninja Kamui is really pulling at our heartstrings, killing off characters we've grown attached to one by one. We were rooting for Emma to stick by Higgins' side and take on AUZA together, but the show had other plans and killed her off. It's a major letdown, especially since we were hoping to see more of her character development. Looking ahead, it seems like Higgin is gearing up to go full-on berserk on AUZA. Towards the end, we also catch Jai standing in front of a Gasuko gear that looks like it's his.